Hello everyone and welcome to the William Stops TV community. I am your host, and I am excited to take you on a tour of the 10 strangest graves in the world. Each of these tombs is unique and has an intriguing story behind it that has captured the imagination of people from all over the world. So get ready to explore together and discover the mysteries behind these incredible tombs. Let's get started. Number 10. Rosalia Lombardo the story behind the mummy of Rosalia Lombardo is a mixture of tragedy and fascination. Little Rosalia died tragically at the age of two from pneumonia in 1920. Her father, grief-stricken by his loss, sought a way to immortalize her memory in a special way and decided to entrust the expert embalmer Alfredo Salafia with the task of mummifying his daughter. Salafia accepted the commission and set to work on Rosalia's mummification, using innovative techniques for the time, such as replacing the blood with formaldehyde and desiccating her skin with a mixture of alcohol and glycerin. In addition, she used salicylic acid to protect her body from fungi. The final result was impressive, and today Rosalia can be seen in a hermetically sealed glass urn in which even nitrogen gas has been introduced to better preserve her. It is hard not to be fascinated by the appearance of Rosalia, who appears to be simply asleep rather than a mummy more than 100 years old. Number 9. Victorian Mortsafes The Victorian era was known for its quirky and eccentric customs, and the protection of the dead was no exception. In that era, it became common to place iron cages over graves and cemeteries, known as mortsafes, to protect the dead from body snatchers. Just as you hear, body snatchers were a real menace at the time, as they sold stolen bodies to local medical institutions for study. Therefore, the mortsafes were not meant to keep the dead inside the graves, but to prevent body snatchers from digging them up. It is hard to imagine how frightening it must have been for relatives of the deceased to see these cages over the graves of their loved ones, but for the Victorians, it was a necessary measure to protect the bodies from ruthless thieves. Fortunately, this practice faded over time, and today it is difficult to find any mortsafe in cemeteries. Number 8. Tyra no Masakado. Tyra no Masakado was a samurai who lived in the Heian period and led a rebellion against the central government based in Kyoto. His fight against the state had serious consequences, and in 940 he was beheaded as punishment for his actions. But Masakado's story did not end there. It is said that his head did not decay for three months after his death, and that his eyes kept rotating in his skull. Eventually, his head was buried in what is now Tokyo, and he became the hero of a legend. Legend has it that if Masakado's grave is desecrated or moved, a great natural disaster will befall the earth. Perhaps out of caution, superstition, or simply out of respect, Masakado's tomb is the oldest and best-preserved tomb in the world. It is located in the Chiyoda district of Tokyo and is a sacred place for many Japanese, who consider him a spiritual protector of the city. Taira no Masakado's story continues to fascinate people around the world, and his tomb is a major tourist attraction for those interested in Japanese culture. In addition, his legacy as a samurai and his fight against the central government remain a symbol of resistance and struggle for justice for many Japanese today. Number 7. Lily E. Gray The story behind Lily E. Gray's headstone is quite mysterious. The inscription on her tombstone that reads Victim of the Beast 666 has perplexed many visitors to the cemetery. But the truth behind this inscription is even stranger. It turns out that Lily's husband, Elmer E. Gray, had an obsession with conspiracy theories and deeply distrusted the U.S. government. After Lily's death, Elmer blamed the government for her demise and refused to accept any financial help they could offer him. Instead, he decided to build the tombstone with the inscription Victim of the Beast 666 as a form of protest against the government. While it is an intriguing story, the truth behind Lily's death remains unknown. Was she really a victim of the government or simply a victim of circumstance? No one knows for sure, but Lily's tombstone remains an intriguing mystery to those who visit the cemetery. Number 6. The Chase Family Crypt the Chase Family Crypt is one of the most puzzling mysteries in history. It is a family tomb that was built in 1805 in New Hampshire, United States, and was the final resting place for several members of the Chase family. However, beginning in 1813, the tomb began to show signs of unexplained activity. 
When the first member of the family was buried there, the gravediggers discovered that all of the caskets had been moved from their original position, although nothing had been stolen. Six years later, the grave was reopened for the burial of another family member, and again the caskets had been moved, including the heavy lead casket of Thomas Chase. This pattern continued each time the crypt was opened, prompting locals to gather to witness the next event. The governor of Barbados, Lord Combermere, witnessed one of these strange experiences in 1819 and ordered a thorough investigation. White plaster was spread on the floor of the crypt to detect traces of the suspected desecrators, and the walls were investigated for any secret passages. The tomb was sealed with Combermere's personal seal imprinted in the cement surrounding the door. However, less than a year later, when the tomb was reopened, the coffins had been moved again, some even upright, and another found on the stairs leading down from the door. Faced with this strange situation, it was decided that the coffins should be moved and buried elsewhere, abandoning the Chase family crypt, which remains sealed to this day. The strange events in this tomb have puzzled many and have generated all kinds of speculations and hypotheses, but the mystery of who or what could have moved the coffins remains unsolved. Number 5. Mary Shelley Mary Shelley's story is one of the most unique on the list, as it involves an unusual and somewhat macabre display of love. When her husband, the poet Percy Bysshe Shelley, died in a tragic sailing accident in Italy in 1822, Mary and her friends, including poets Lord Byron and Lee Hunt, cremated the body on the beach. However, it is said that Shelley's heart refused to burn along with the rest of the body and was recovered by Hunt days later. Once back in England, Hunt gave the heart to Mary, who kept it in the top drawer of her desk for nearly 30 years. When Mary died in 1851, the heart was wrapped in an A4-sized sheet containing a manuscript of the poem Adonis, on the death of John Keats, written by Shelley in memory of the poet John Keats. The sheet was placed in Mary's coffin along with the heart of her beloved husband. Although it may seem a strange and somewhat macabre act, this display of love and devotion is consistent with the nature of Mary Shelley, author of the famous novel Frankenstein or Modern Prometheus, which is about creating a creature from human body parts. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe. We also invite you to activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Number 4. Russian Mafia the Ural Mash Cemetery in Yekaterinburg, Russia, is known for its graves of mobsters who died in the gang wars that raged in the 1990s. What makes this cemetery even more disturbing is that many of the tombstones have life-size portraits engraved in granite, creating a sort of gallery of mafia suspects. One of these tombs belongs to Alexander Kabarov, leader of one of the gangs of the time, who in addition to having an imposing portrait, has a CCTV camera that ensures constant surveillance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all year round. This cemetery is a showcase of Russian mafia culture, where gang leaders and high-profile criminals are honored in death with portraits and other ostentation on their graves. While it is a final resting place for many, it is also a constant reminder of the violence and power the mafia has wielded in Russia. Number 3. Inez Clark Inez Clark was a little girl who died tragically at the age of six when she was struck by lightning in 1880. Her parents, heartbroken by the loss of their daughter, commissioned a life-size sculpture in her memory. The sculpture shows Inez seated on a bench wearing a lace dress, holding a parasol and a flower. The sculpture is pretty common on tombs, right? But what makes it unique is that it is protected in a large plexiglass box. This tomb is even more disturbing when people visiting the cemetery report seeing a little girl dressed in old-fashioned clothes, playing near the tomb. Many believe it is the spirit of Inez, still roaming the cemetery. Understandably, this may be creepy to some, but it is also a touching display of love and care from parents for their deceased daughter. Number 2. Kitty J. Jay's grave, also known as Kitty Jay, is a grassy mound on Dartmoor that has puzzled people for many years. It is believed to be the resting place of a woman who committed suicide in the late 18th century. Because the church considered suicide a sin at the time, it denied her burial in holy ground. Instead, the woman was buried at a crossroads so that her spirit would be confused and she could never find her way to the afterlife. 
Despite the apparent lack of attention to the grave, which is in a fairly remote location, fresh flowers regularly appear on it. No one has claimed to be responsible for these floral tributes, which has generated even more mystery surrounding Kitty J's grave. Ghost hunters have turned the site into a cult site, and there have been numerous paranormal investigations at the site. Despite this, the mystery remains unsolved, and Kitty J's grave remains an intriguing and puzzling place. Number 1. Princess Elizabeth de Midoff. The story of Princess Elizabeth de Midoff is one of the most fascinating in the Per Lachaise Cemetery. This woman from the Russian nobility married the first prince of Saint Donatus in a loveless marriage. However, what made her a legendary figure was her death and the strange challenge she left for those brave enough to attempt it. Princess Elizabeth de Midoff died in a tragic and unusual way, almost in a state of insanity. Before she passed away, she left a challenge to anyone brave enough to accept it. Spend a full week inside her mausoleum to receive a share of her enormous fortune. Since then, many have attempted to complete the challenge, but none have succeeded. Some have come away in shock, some have suffered mental illness, and some have died. But Princess Elizabeth de Midoff's fortune remains unclaimed. Thank you for joining us on this exciting tour of the 10 strangest graves in the world. We hope you enjoyed the intriguing and mysterious stories behind these tombs. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content in the future. Goodbye.